Alright, now after you burnt your CD, you got your CD, you ready to go listen to it in your car, and you're ready to take it home, what you want to do is always save your mix. Always plan on coming back another day to mix it because half of the time after you mix a song, you're going to have it in your car, you're going to listen to it, and are going to be like, man, there's something I wish I could have done different. And if you don't save your mix, then you can't go back. You're going to have to do the whole process over again. But if there's like, man, I wish that hi-hat was just a little bit louder, all you got to do is just turn up the hi-hat a little bit. So take your time um, when you're mixing. Mix it the way you like. But always plan half of the time you're going to come back and want to do something different with the mix. You say, man, I need to turn this hi-hat up. Oh, the kick needs to be louder, the snare. Or it is sometimes when you go after your mix, you take it to get mastered. Um, they may ask you to do certain things. Hey, can you turn this kick up? Can you turn the vocals down? Um, so always um, save your mixes because uh, you're going to always want to go back and eventually mix uh, the song over again or uh, there's going to be a problem with the mix and you want to tweak it. Because sometimes in the studio, everything sounds good, everything sounds perfect, but you take it out to a car or a system that you're more familiar with, uh, and you realize, man, I need to turn that kick down, or I need to turn the snare up. Um, because studios are designed to sound good. We, I mean, I'm in here all the time, and everything sounds perfect. And I take it in my car, and I'm like, ugh, that makes sense. That doesn't sound right. It sounds it's too much bass in that song. So I have to go back and take the kick and turn the bass down a little bit in, in the kick, and, or turn the bass line down. But... I would have so much a problem max, max, matching the mix if, um, if I didn't save it because I would have to do all the whole process over again. I would have to EQ it. And you can't remember all the things you do in a mix, but if you save it, a lot of programs, I mean all the programs that you can mix in all the computer programs, you can, they allow you to save the mixes and just go back and uh, change the little things. And then once you change the little things, save that and continue to work with it.